Hello everyone. Let's take a look at the graph comparing the 7 Hz Dioko against the 7 Hz Timeless. The graph was taken by the the site Audio Reviews News. They they they've taken a uh, very well detailed measurement of these two earphones to show us what you can expect from these two earphones. So let's read the graph a bit because I've complained recently that almost every earphone coming out these days are all neutral and graphs will always present you with the facts it's not just um it, it, it's not just about always hearing something but with a graph you might be able to get an idea what you can expect from any earphone these days because most manufacturers will never send you a product to test before you you buy them you have to use graph to be able to identify if your tuning is what you would might like so the red line is for the timeless the yellow line is for the dioko so what are we seeing from this graph what is showing a bit is that the dioko lacks base impact it seems like the the, the they not only just tune down the bass, but they only elevated slightly the sub bass. But even the the slight elevation in sub bass doesn't even come near the timeless. It that has a bump in its mid bass and still has a bigger sub bass presence. So bass alone goes to the timeless. If we are looking at this, you can already see that the timeless will be a very warm set at least not too warm but it will be a warmer set compared to the dioko the dioko has uh, a glide down in its lower mid-range and that's to me i'm not always a fan of that because what it does is that when you don't have enough base when you don't have enough base and you still take down the lower mids it will be a very shrill sounding earphone regardless of how well you tune the other frequency the the earphone will not have the body that you would want you it will not have that body because the body is very important for any earphone it has to have that weight and when 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 it, it, the the mid the, the at least the the lower mids that connects to the base is turned down you will hear detail but there will be a problem because the the body of the entire sound would not be there no matter how you try to 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 work around it so that's another thing. Then you look at the mid-range, they, they're almost similar to the timeless, but the mid-range starts changing when you start getting to the upper mid-range. Uh, you can see that the timeless has a tone, slightly toned down upper mid-range, whereas the, the Yoko now goes all the way up slightly, not by much, but slightly. But if you get to the treble, the timeless has slightly a bumped treble compared to the 7s dioko because i've seen people say the timeless has detail more detail than than the dioko and i think this is where it shows because you can see there is a bump in that treble region so it will seem like it will give you more detail uh than you would uh, imagine to have right now with most earphones uh like this so what i'm getting at here is that neutral earphones are becoming a trend even the graph kind of still shows that the timeless is not even a very basic earphone it's just that it has a slight bump in the low end but it's still not like an earphone that will rock you and hit you hard it doesn't really have that impact it really doesn't have that impact uh, and that's to me i feel is a bit of a worry because when you see what's going on right now with most earphones um not being able to have the base that you are looking for it's it's slightly a bit annoying um but at least the graph shows a bit of what you need to know before you go out and pick one it shows that the timeless has more base it shows that the timeless has a more boosted lower mids which in turn will make the sound a lot thicker and proper it should have a more natural presentation it should have a much more lively presentation that timeless that is the reason why people are, in, that are currently in love with timeless the tuning is well done but it, it, there, i'm not saying the dioko is bad but 
the tuning already from what I'm seeing, I can clearly see that the timeless is a better tune set. There is an extension in the treble. The mids does not seem too scooped. It is a fine balance. There is a fine balance there. And I think that is the most important thing for any guy that is going out there to purchase these products. Uh, it, it's really, really important you get the balance right. Look, everything looks quite nice. I don't have any issue with the Dioko, but the fact that it doesn't have enough bass is just the only concern I have about it. It's definitely going to be a very good neutral set, but the problem with neutral sets is that the fact you don't have impact in your low end, you may never be able to hear the full spectrum of a sound properly. It will never be very, very proper to your ears. So that's just my concern. But other than that, I think both sets look nice and both sets should serve many audio files properly. All your details will be in the description. If you're interested in any one of them, do subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys very much next time.